Finally this evening, while the manned shuttle program may be at an end, America's unmanned program goes on. The billion-dollar Juno probe blasted off yesterday on a one-way mission to Jupiter. Our Ben Tracy has a look at the flight plan. Ignition and liftoff of the Atlas V with Juno on a trek to Jupiter. When the Juno probe left the launch pad, it began a 1.7 billion mile journey to try to solve one of the great mysteries of science. How was the planet Jupiter born? A planetary piece of the puzzle on the beginning of our solar system. Juno will be powered on its five-year trip by three huge solar panels the size of tractor trailers. It will orbit Jupiter for a year, diving deep into the planet's colorful bands and high clouds. NASA hopes understanding the origins of Jupiter will explain how other planets, including Earth, came to be. And so one of the things we like to say is that we're looking for the recipe about how planets are formed, and Jupiter holds the ingredients. Jupiter is the largest and oldest known planet in our solar system. It is mostly made of gas. Juno will try to find the planet's solid core for the first time. The reason we're doing this is there are a lot of unanswered questions about how Jupiter was formed. The final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. Now that the space shuttle program has been scrapped, missions like Juno are the face of the new NASA. This week, NASA showcased these pictures from their Mars orbiter. They show evidence of water in that planet's craters. Water would be essential for life on the red planet. As for Juno, well, it will die a dramatic death. The spacecraft is programmed to crash into Jupiter when it completes its mission in 2017. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.